Hey guys, it's Ash, and many of you guys have been asking for some high-level content for Clash Royale. So today, I'm gonna share one of my most intimidating decks, and that's the Go Wipe deck. Just like in Clash of Clans, you have the Go Wipe in Clash Royale, and it is very deadly. We have the Golem, a uh, huge meat shield, along with the P.E.K.K.A., two high elixir cost troops, but they're very deadly when combined with Splash. You have Wizard, the Wizard dealing Splash, uh, taking care of any smaller hordes and that's the main weakness for the peck are the smaller horde of troops So we have lots of splash in the wizard and the bomber uh, Wizard taking care of the air troops such as the minion horde Which is a big problem to both the golem and P.E.K.K.A. But we have the fireball we have wizard we have arrows that can all take out Minions in one shot as well as the smaller horde of troops and uh, Along with the golem huge tank we have ranged troops we have wizard archers spear goblins and we also have an average elixir cost of only 4.4 with these very heavy high elixir costing troops and this is a very powerful uh, deck so the first battle that I'm going to share uh, using this deck is against a very well-known YouTuber. Many of you guys probably know him, Nick at Night. And this was actually a very close battle, a very thrilling one. So he starts off with the next bow. I started off with my uh, Peck on the bottom right. Huge mistake. This was the biggest mistake I had made because he combined that expo with his Infernal Tower. And uh, my Archers and Spear Goblins just were not able to take it down. And uh, being a level 5 expo, pretty quickly took out my tower. And I expended too much elixir. Uh, which also allowed him to counter my P.E.K.K.A on the right uh, sent out my bomber didn't really help was a bad idea because he also has a baby dragon that took it out and uh, really at a huge disadvantage here but I do make a comeback and I'll show you guys how he used his rocket here a bad idea because he wasted all his elixir onto that now he doesn't have a formidable counter against my uh, golem on the left combined with archers and spear goblins here he just doesn't have a counter for that as well as my uh, golems aftermath bomb damage which will also take out his uh, tower on the left so Pretty much almost even not exactly because my tower on the bottom right uh, only has about 50% health so I still have ways to go so what I do here is I load up on elixir and again again I force the pressure on the right side send out my P.E.K.K.A and now I'm gonna send out my uh, ranged wizard who's gonna deal damage as the P.E.K.K.A with his high hit points and damage he's gonna deal a lot of damage I'm gonna combine uh, him with with the bomber who's also going to take care of the smaller horde of troops like the archers and goblins but just didn't have enough power uh, hit points to uh, continue there and uh, Nick and Knight is a level 9 player so he does have the advantage there however I'm still going to fight back and I'm going to send out my golem right on his expo completely shut down his expo with my golem and then combine my golem with my wizard behind and now my bomber so I have two splash attackers attacking behind the golem and uh, both of them are going to take out the expo and the baby dragon now he's, he still has his uh, Inferno Tower, level 7 Inferno Tower, so it's going to quickly take out my Golem. However, I still have a lot of supporting troops, my Wizards, Archers, Goblins, that were able to deal a lot of damage. And now as you can see, it's pretty much even. Uh, we're almost even here, but I'm going to send out my Golem. His uh, Inferno Tower is only at like 10%. He uses his Rocket because now he only needs one more Rocket to take me down. So yeah, really quickly here, had to get his tower on time before he gets another rocket to take on my tower so I'm going to play very quickly here send out the rest of my troops and there we go we've done it got two towers and one great battle Nick okay let's head in for another attack with this deck and we're against and we're against Keith he's a level 8 player okay so this is gonna be pretty even I'm gonna start off looks like we have a really bad hand uh, to a P.E.K.K.A golem and a wizard uh, low connection error no okay there we go the low connection is gone perfect so we're gonna start off with my golem just because I had a really bad hand I had a co white hand uh, wizard with the golem and P.E.K.K.A now I have enough elixir to send out my wizard completely took out his minion horde instantly there so as you can see very good uh, combine it with my archer he left the room what I think he gave up immediately there <laughs> well that's funny um, gonna combine my golem wizards and archers with a bomber now and uh, I guess I'll just finish it off here 
yeah, looks like he rage quit it there. <laughs> Okay, hopefully we don't have another Rage Quitter. Let's head in. Uh, we're against Brian and he's from Darkness Kings. Okay, uh, we're gonna start off with Archers here. See what he's gonna start off. I'm gonna send out my Archers right at the bottom, right here. And uh, they're gonna separate separate on two sides so they can shield both sides. All right, and uh, let's see. I'm now gonna send out my Wizard here and couple him, let's see. See what he does. Let's see. Yeah, he's gonna send out his witch here, so I'm just gonna wait until his witch gets closer. And now I'm gonna place that fireball uh, onto his witch and the tower. And my wizard should be able to uh, quickly take out that opposing witch. Great. So it's almost even. I did deal some damage onto his tower. And now I'm gonna send out my Pekka and uh, he's gonna shield at the same time also take out the wizard. He sent out a golem. Okay, this is gonna be a good battle. All right, send out my bomber, and let's see here. My Pekka is gonna be able to take out his golem. Pekka has a lot of power. Okay, he sent out his minion horde. Use those arrows, take them out. Nice. Let's send out my archers. As you can see, my Pekka is a great counter against uh, the against the golem. Okay, uh, he sent out a tombstone. Not a problem. I have a bomber. It's gonna take care of that. And uh, let's see, can our P.E.K.K.A make it to the tower? No, she couldn't make it, uh, but that's fine. We're still at a very good, we're still looking very good here. Uh, dealt about 60% damage onto his top right tower. Now I'm gonna send down my Golem and then combine it with uh, Spear Goblins, ranged troops. So take out his baby dragon, awesome. Gonna load up on elixir. Okay, he sent out his wizard. Gonna send out my bomber, who's also gonna do splash damage over the uh, golem. So there we go, bomber. Take out his wizard. Perfect. And we're gonna take out his tower on the top right. Now we can focus on his other tower on the left. Send that our Pekka. Let's see what he does. He has a minion horde going on over there. There it doesn't matter. Gonna send out my archers here. Let's see what those minion horde does. Um, I'm gonna send out my wizard, and they're gonna take out the minion horde there. Now I'm gonna send out my spear goblins. Let's send out, let's send out that fireball to weaken his uh, witch and also uh, deal some damage onto his tower. And now my wizard should be able to take out his uh, queen. I mean his witch. Okay, both of them pretty much weakened, so I'm gonna finish them off. And now I'm gonna send out my Pekka, and there we go. His golem stands no chance against my Pekka. Okay, gonna send out my spear goblins here, help out my P.E.K.K.A. Spread them around so that opposing uh, bomber damage doesn't deal damage onto our, doesn't take out our archers or our spear goblins. Then I'm gonna use my wizard there, finish off his bomber, combine my P.E.K.K.A. with another bomber. It looks like time has run out and we've won. Great battle, thanks. Okay, let's do one more. We're against Taco and he's from Legendary Rivals. Okay, we have P.E.K.K.A, Spear Goblins, Arrows, and the Fireball. So we're gonna start off with our Spear Goblins load up on the Elixir. We send out my Spear Goblins here, let's see what he does. Sends out his Tombstone on the on the uh, middle here. I'm gonna send out my Archers now. Okay, remove his Tombstone. Now he's gonna send out his Archers. Now I'm gonna send out my P.E.K.K.A here first on the left side, taking out his Tombstone. And now I'm gonna combine my P.E.K.K.A with my Wizard. Nice, my P.E.K.K.A avoided that rocket. <laughs> okay, now combine my P.E.K.K.A with my wizard behind. Let's see what he does to counter this. He uses a free spell. Okay, I use my bomber to take care of his uh, hog rider as well as my spear goblins. Bad idea on his part because now my P.E.K.K.A is going to go ham on his tower on the top left. Bomber is going to take care of his uh, troops there. We can now go for his king tower. Nice. So P.E.K.K.A, a wizard, bunch of troops. He sends out a minion horde, use my arrows here quickly. So tower has 277. We're just gonna finish it off with a fireball and, and, and our arrows. So great, awesome. <laughs> so as you guys can see just how powerful this deck is, the Golem and the P.E.K.K.A are just monsters. And uh, we're gonna use that fireball now here. And I uh, just need the arrow now, and we can just finish it off. 
and these are my bombers. Bombers, uh, the bomber is very good for taking out barbarians. So quickly took out his barbarians there, and I'm just waiting, on, um, waiting for my arrow here. We're gonna place that arrow right now. Let's go take that tower king out, and that's gonna be another, and that's gonna be another three crown victory. Awesome. Okay, since that was a pretty quick win, we'll do another one. And let's see, we're up against HAF from Crazy Canadians. Okay, you have the P.E.K.K.A, Arrows, Fireball, and the Bomber. Not a very good hand, not a good starting hand, but we're going to start off with the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, and we're going to wait, see where he... Okay, he's going to send out his Barbarians on the right, so we're going to send our P.E.K.K.A here. And then we're going to combine that P.E.K.K.A with the Bomber. But we're going to wait and see what he does. He's going to plan on doing something else. Okay, he's going to send out Archers. In that case, we're going to send out... Uh, a fireball and that's gonna weaken his barbarians and then we can have our spear goblins take him out and while the P.E.K.K.A is uh, distracting we can send out our troops but here he's used the arrow that quickly took out our P.E.K.K.A just on time we're just gonna load up on elixir again here okay he's gonna send out a minion horde so he's playing pretty recklessly here uh, not a good idea quickly countered his, min his minion horde with the arrows so it's pretty much even still. Uh, he is a level 9 player, so he does have a slight advantage there. So what we'll do is, let's see, we're going to send out... Should we send out... Yeah, let's continue to send out our P.E.K.K.A since uh, it worked. So we're going to continue to do so. He's going to send out his uh, Barbarians. This time we're going to send out a Wizard. He used the Lightning, not a good idea because uh, that just you know took out a bunch of his uh, Elixir there expended too much that's gonna be very easy to now counter an attack take advantage of that mistake okay send out our wizard and we'll just load up on the elixir and just deal some damage onto his tower on the left our troops just died pretty quickly there um, but yeah that is the advantage of having stronger troops and being a higher level towers deal more damage your troops deal more damage okay we're gonna send out our golem this time all right let's see what he does He's gonna send out his wizard. So while our golem is shielding for our archers, our archers are gonna target that wizard over the uh, the golem and should be able to take it out. <laughs> what? His arrow was able to one shot our archers. That's not that's unusual. So that tells me his arrow was a very high level uh, arrow. As uh, as my archers are usually able to live off an arrow damage. But yeah, level nine archers, um, level nine minion horde. This guy has really strong troops, so this is a good challenge. Send out my golem again. Let's see what he does now. Uses a lightning again. Again, a bad idea. Just wasted a bunch of your elixir. Not really which one to do. Uh, you want to use that lightning. You want to couple the lightning with another troop like a wizard. So he should have waited there. Um, the golem's dying pretty quickly there. Uh, send out our golem behind with the wizard and spear goblins and now we can target his tower nice come on come on uh, minion horde no okay uh, again send out our golem sudden death uses a free spell here bad idea only has two minions and uh, that just allowed us to again load up on elixir uses an arrow bad idea again because I'm just gonna continue to attack as he's wasting uh, elixir. He's gonna <laughs> use a lightning. Bad idea again, because I still have golemites. And there we go, take him out, come on, come on. 300, we're gonna use an arrow. Let's see, can we finish him off? We just need a fireball. Archer, 90, 20, oh my goodness. There we go, nice clutch spear goblin. Awesome, good game, well played. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'm going to try to have more high-level Clash Royale content soon as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Later.